Greetings, tubers, and today I am exceptionally angry. I know, I know I'm getting a reputation of being angry, but the last video I was quite chilled and subdued because i just come back from holiday, and so I was having a bit of a sniff through the recommendations on YouTube, see what, uh, see what pops up, see what I'm there to laugh at. And whilst we're all, you know, we're used to watching their feeble attempts at explaining the world as they see it, and then we laugh at their obvious inability to understand even the simplest concepts that absolutely prove the world we live on is a sphere, um, just like every other planet in the solar system, and likely every other planet in the universe. But sometimes in our search for these idiotic flurfers to rip the mickey off, we come across ones who are a little different. Now, we all know the flurfers who know that the Earth is a globe, but they need to perpetuate this myth because the people that actually believe it are the very same people who support them on Patreon and other donation sites. Um, occasionally, we will come across some that are not only dumb, but also paranoid. Uh, they think that there's always some shadowy governmental organisation that is constantly trying to lie to them. Uh, fortunately, the dude that I am going to focus on, who I came across only two days ago, is a very, very rare animal. And I do mean animal in almost a literal sense. Now, he is a flat earther, um, predominantly a space denier within that little bracket, but he's also um, a numerologist, which is the same as saying someone is a crystal healer or, you know, a homeopath. Uh, the title means nothing because there's no validity to the field that they practice. So what makes this guy so dangerous? Well, this is <coughs> Jurassic Lies. Um, I think he's up to number 26 at the moment. Jurassic Lies 26, maybe even 28. I don't know. I'll have to have a look. Anyway, not only is he all of those strange things that I've mentioned, but he is also a rabid god botherer. But this guy is also a screaming racist. He is a devout misogynist. And most of all, he is deeply anti-Semitic. Uh, he thinks everyone in authority, from the police to teachers to TV anchor people, are paedophiles. And most of all, he believes absolutely that every new story is riddled with numerology and nomenclature clues that prove the stories are hoaxes. And guess what, folks? Surprise, surprise, he has cracked this code and believes it is his responsibility to present it to the viewing public. Now, first, a few things you should know about this code of his. He believes people's names are clues to the fake stories in which they're involved. Um, if you see the word ram, man or son appear in anyone's name, and it doesn't matter if it appears in that order, it can be any random assortment of those letters, then that is proof of the conspiracy. Okay? He believes that the number 33 can be divinated from people's names, from, from dates, from places, and that that is that is the proof of the context in which they appear, and that it is nothing more than a hoax. Everything is a hoax. Um, if anyone appears in a news story wearing orange, or if there's an orange bag, an orange car, or a sign in the news segment, uh, anywhere in the news clip, that is also proof of the hoax story. And that almost everything has references to sex and genitalia. Have a quick look at this. And this is why they love the, the, the word orange, okay? Because orange equals 33 in reduced numerology, which I'm not doing right here when I give you my numerology. Uh, that's a different type of numerology. But look, OR equals 33. Also, RAN equals 33. You understand? R is the 18th letter. A is the first letter, makes 19. And then N is the 14th letter, makes 33. So this, the, that's why the word orange is loaded with 33s. The alphabetical position of the letters in the word ran does indeed add up to 33. The only problem is that there's also an O, a G, and an E in the word orange. He does this all the time to make things fit. And apparently there are lots of different kinds of numerology too, according to that last segment. Um, I suppose then you can just choose whichever one makes your narrative fit fit in wherever you wanted to. Um, the fact that he manipulates everything in order to get these numbers and the sexual conclusions that he comes across, uh, it says a great deal more about him than it does, I think, about the stories that he comments on. 
Now, this imaginary code would not be dangerous to anyone on its own, but it's what he believes it to signify that makes it worrying. Um, according to this retard, it proves that everything from space flights to school shootings to the Holocaust are hoaxes. Um, we've all come across these opinions before, but this guy really is on another level. Um, the best way to give you an idea as to this guy's insanity is to, to play some video. So um, let's have a bit of a start with this. Now, this was my initial introduction to Mr. Ju Rasek. Um, one of his comments on space flight. I don't need science to prove that the Earth is not a spinning ball hurling through an endless space. Now, most of us watched in wonder as we witnessed the first viable steps into commercial space travel when Elon Musk launched with his, you know, his usual flair for showmanship, one of his Tesla cars into space with David Bowie's Starman playing on the stereo. Now, not our subject, though. He sees the conspiracies. Now, look what it says right on the dashboard of the car. It says, don't panic, right? But you know why they put that there? Yes, we know why they put it there. It's a reference to one of the finest works of fiction ever produced, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. Now, the reason he's got a problem with Don't Panic is entirely in his own mind. From The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy was an electronic book that allowed galactic hitchhikers to travel anywhere in the galaxy, and this book would have information on how to survive on whatever planet you went to. Um, it was supposedly a very complicated book and extremely, um, extremely complex to look at. And so, in order to calm anybody who owned a copy, on the front of the box, in big friendly letters, were the words, Don't Panic. It really is as simple as that. What does Jurassic Lies think Don't Panic means? Because they want you to see the D-O-N, which is the dawn. The dawn. The dawn! The Dawn! What's all that about? Is it uh, sort of some sort of Cosa Nostra boss or something? Okay, and D-O-N equals 33. Ah, ha, 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 right. There's that 33. But it doesn't prove anything than your insanity, Mr. Dura Ass Lick. Okay, that's pretty standard stuff as far as, uh, as this fella goes. But his idiocy turns to bile very swiftly. Um, and shortly after there, to outright hatred. Um, this chap here, this is Jason Seaman. Now, he's a science teacher um, at Noblesville West Middle School in Indiana. And on the 25th of May 2018, a pupil in his science class asked to be excused. To which Mr. Seaman excused him. He left the room returned then shortly after with two handguns. Now, this pupil opened fire, and a 13-year-old girl by the name of uh, Ella Whistler, she sustained seven gunshot wounds, and the teacher, Jason Seaman, he threw a basketball at the shooter, then wrestled him to the ground, and in the process, sustained three gunshot wounds himself. Now, both victims fortunately recovered. Um, likely due to the actions of the teacher, there were no fatalities. So. What does Mr. Jurassic think of this bona fide hero? And this was a teacher who stopped the school shooting. <laughs> Look at his name. Jason Seaman. <laughs> That's right. It's the seaman. You know what I'm saying, right? And he's got the man. He's got the son. And he's got the seaman. That's right. <laughs> Inside and out. Would Aslick have confronted a gunman? No, of course not. Of course he wouldn't. He would have likely pissed in his pants, cried for his mother, and then probably died in a hail of bullets. This man is a hero. You... <laughs> retard. But nobody appears to be immune from this man's paranoid rantings. He also displays a deep hatred for anyone of non-white heritage. Now this young lady here, this is, this is uh, Ayana Reddick. Um, now, Ayana is a successful child actor. Um, she's probably better known in the United States than she is over here in, in the UK. But um, I have no doubt she was being interviewed on some program for whatever part, some part she played and no doubt received accolades for. 
But what does Jude Aslick say about her? Remember I showed this? It's a kid with the name Inya. And the first name is Inya. And the last name is Red Dick Inya. That's what her name is. Red Dick Inya. Unbelievable. If you think there's a black person named Red Dick Inya, <laughs> you've lost your mind. I don't think it's us who've lost our mind, you retarded piece of shit. Right, let's go back to the space program for a bit. Now, um, specifically the, the NASA InSight mission. Now, InSight stands for Interior Exploration Using Seismic Investigations, Geodesy and Heat Transport. Now, this mission was launched in May 2018, I believe it was. I think it was a couple of years later. It was supposed to go up in 2016. But they launched it in May 2018 and it landed on Mars in November of last year. And it's been there ever since, sending back um, meteorological data about the Martian weather. Um, something of a landmark mission, since this might well provide data for future manned missions to the planet Mars. Now, does Mr. Aslick rejoice in our human achievements? The site survived the seven minutes of terror and autopilot plunge from space to ground, 12,000 miles per hour to full stop, and every step... Flawless. You made it through that seven minutes of terror. Yeah, I still have a few fingernails left, but they're mostly gone. Shove your fingernails up your lying ass, you pieces of... You, oh, man. Look at his name, will you? He's the manager. You understand? There's your man again of the Insight, whatever, Project Mars Lander, whatever the hell this thing's called. His name is Tom Hoffman. He's got the man in his name, man. And for the people who are into that numerology, you know that OFF equals 666. Apparently not. He's more concerned with extracting fantasy numbers from the mission manager's name. Now, it was while I was watching this particular segment, the one that we just watched, that I got my first insight into his anti-Semitism. Now, the news crews interviewed um, an understandably very excited Farah Alibay. This is her. Um, she is an almost supernaturally gifted engineer who works for uh, JPL. Um, is it Joint Propulsion Laboratory, it stands for? Um, and was an integral part of the team that put the InSight station onto Mars. Now, does Aslik acknowledge her contributions to space exploration? So for me, you know, this is a lifelong dream come true, and I'm sort of like, it's incredible that at 30, I have not only insight, but I also worked on the muscle. Shut up, Twisted and Sister. And this creature looks like the singer from Twisted Sister. You think? What? Asshole. I think Dee Snyder actually looks more like Sarah Jessica Parker, to be honest. Anyway. He was being unnecessarily nasty about her, since uh, I think he probably fancies Miss uh, Miss Alibay, but knows he doesn't have the slightest chance. Uh, so instead, he redoubles his bile-ridden attack with this. And look at this Jew face, will you? And look at the hair. You think somebody's going to hire this creature? Okay, you understand? Other than an act whore job. Now, regardless of her face or her hair, they hired her because she holds a doctorate in engineering. And if we needed to prove his ignorance and high-end idiocy further, let's take a look at his comments about spacewalks. And people still think that people actually walk on the outside of the spacecrafts. I mean, can you believe the stupidity of humans? It's just beyond belief, man. And look at the numbers on the outside of this craft. Numbers? Did any of you see any numbers? No. What we saw there was the word Soyuz written in Russian Cyrillic. The man can't even re recognize Russian when he sees it, so how is he supposed to recognize common sense? Um, another example then of his anti-Semitism comes from this new story um, about a small child who accidentally damaged a statue when his family were visiting a museum. Now, apparently the museum, a few days later, billed his parents for over $100,000, 
Whether they were right to do that is not a point we should discuss here. Perhaps he should have been better supervised by his parents. Perhaps the statue should have been better protected. That's not the issue here. Anyway, the child's mother was interviewed on the local news, to which Aslick gives us his profound insights. No one would ever expect to come into a place where kids are invited. Shut up, you Jew liar. You have to worry. And if that wasn't enough, what about this lady's name? So what is this Jew liar's name? It's Sarah Goodman? She's got the man in her name. I think you're probably starting to get the picture about this fella now. Let's finish up with some other examples of this turd stains mindlessness. Now, a helicopter crashes into the roof of a building. And as you might imagine, it gets covered on the local news. Does Aslick learn anything from it? Oh yes, yes, it's evidence of numerological coding and blatant sexual references in the media. Let's take a look. But look, Chopper Crash, the headline right here is CC. The C is the third letter, so you have two C's makes the 33. Like I told you, the 33 is their code. And it's got the PP, which is the Wiener reference. This man mentions wieners a lot in his videos. If you go and have a look through his videos, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I think this is probably evidence of his subliminal desire for them. You know, I think, uh, I think you know what I'm saying. Um, check out this news incident. Um, it was, uh, again, on local news in America and involves uh, an incident aboard an airplane. Well, at least you weren't on this plane. <laughs> you or you would have, you would have got sucked out of cockpit. <laughs> Look at this, will you? This is a headline on a on a big time news network. You see what I'm saying? They got the suck the cock right there in your face, man. Anyway, folks, end a video. <sighs> Makes you wonder what goes through these people's minds, if indeed anything apart from nonsense, bile, and hatred. Anyway, one more, I think, before I go and get my cup of tea. You will be starting to understand how fond I am of a cup of tea. And um, I don't think I'm actually as angry as I am when I started this video. Perhaps it's the, the cathartic nature of, of sharing this nonsense. Anyway, this one really does prove that his mind hasn't moved on since he was about six. This is uh, concerning... Um, a military general from the South Korean army. So, you know, let me tell you something. They like to use sexual innuendos in all the stuff they show on television. This is a South Korean army general. Let's look at his name. <laughs> it's Lieutenant Gen General In Bum. <laughs> look at this, will you? It's In Bum Chun. Unbelievable. It's In Bum. Oh, fine. Bums up. Way bums. Sounds a bit like bum, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, okay. A bit of humour in there. And I have to admit, seeing someone called In Bum Chun is funny to those of us who are, you know, of a certain humorous mindset. Um, we get a giggle. Jew Aslick sees the code to the apocalypse. What a fool. Now, to be honest, I've got about 30 segments uh, cut from various videos from this, this dire piece of shit. Um, almost all of which I decided not to include because many of them are far, far worse than those that I've shown here. Um, he's had, over the past few years, he's had almost 30 YouTube channels taken down. Um, over 700 videos have been deleted and from that, most people would take the hint, but not this idiot. He genuinely believes that he has a message that the world needs to hear, so he just keeps spewing this rancid nonsense on newly opened channels. Um, I think that's probably why he's up to about the number 26 after the, the, the channel name Jurassic Liars. Um, some of the footage I have included here, including some containing the anti-Semitic slurs, are no longer available on YouTube. You won't find them. I found them on an archive site that um, I most certainly will not be posting um, the link to below. But go to his page and you will find stuff that is at best thinly veiled in its assault on anyone who isn't white, 
Christian and male. Um, it has to prompt the question, what made him become like this? And the only thing I can think of is that there must have been some deeply damaging trauma in his past that has made him so fixated on genitalia, so bile-ridden towards any ethnicity that isn't his own, and so hateful towards women. So when you're out there, folks, um, those of you who just watch YouTube videos, those of you who watch for, you know, material to comment on, keep your eyes peeled. These people are out there. Anyway, next time I will be back with something less intense. I will now go and have my cup of tea and I will calm and centre myself. If you've made it this far, as always, thank you very much. I do appreciate every view on the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. As long as I know that there was somebody there, that's all good by me. If you'd like to subscribe, then uh, just on the bottom here, there should be a little subscribe button. Um, in a few moments, old Thor should appear here, or perhaps up here. Not quite sure where I'll stick him yet, but give that subscribe a click. If you'd like an email from YouTube to let you know exactly when my next piece of, uh, of ranting nonsense hits the internet, click the bell notification and they will send it to you on my behalf. So, as always, thank you for watching. Please be well, please be safe. I will catch you next time. Au revoir.